Hey, what's up? Bought a little something from my car. Garrett GT35R dual ball bearing 0.63 exhaust side check this out that's what I'm talking about So well, anyway, I'm going to put that on my car. Uh, it's got a 6.3 uh, hot side. Not really interested in humongous dyno numbers. I mean, I think it's going to it's going to give it quite a kick. But um, I just wanted it to be a fun, streetable car. I uh, had to drive my car over the holidays, about two hours south of of where I live, and. Uh, you know, right now I've got the uh, the whole set HY35 on there, and man, I was just enjoying the hell out of driving my car down there. Uh, I was doing, um, well, I had to work this particular day, and then uh, had to drive down there. It's like a two-hour drive, and I made it in a about an hour and a half. But man, just uh, I was really enjoying my car. I drove it down there, just the spool. Uh, had it set at 17 pounds of boost, uh, methanol spraying after 14 pounds. And man, just the uh, you know passing lane, uh, just really enjoying it. So I'm really uh, looking forward to putting this on there. And uh, I've also uh, I'm going to build a motor. I've got uh, forged Aries pistons. I got forged H beam rods. Uh, I've got a ported head, I've got a, uh, a larger cam from uh, Iski uh, coming in, a regrind and whatnot. But I'm, I'm going to put this on uh, my motor now, um, kind of get everything uh, uh, tuned and everything, and because uh, and you know for the. For the new motor, I've still got to machine all of the, uh, you know, get everything balanced, and there's, you know, machining that still needs to be done. The block is all machined and everything, uh, but there's still a lot of money involved in putting uh, the built motor together. So, I'm just going to put this on uh, on my motor now, uh, stock turbo motor L28 ET, and uh, not get real, you know, nothing really more crazy than where I'm at now. I was running 25 pounds, uh, but um, I've really, I've toned that down. 17 now. Uh, and I've, I've tuned the uh, the top end more. When I was on the dyno, made 342 horsepower at 25 pounds of boost, but anything, it struggled to, uh, to rev above 5,000 RPM because everything, it just went so rich. So, uh, I've tuned it now where it, it will rev out, uh, you know, 63-ish or so, and the AFRs are look really good. So the car actually on the top end, it feels like it's got more power at 17 pounds at the top end than it did, you know, 25 pounds. You know, the the uh, the torque is not there like before. I made 390 torque, so I was, you know, really thinking. I really kind of wanted to get back to the dyno and tune the top end of 25 pounds to see how much horsepower that would have uh, I would have had if it, if it would have uh, revved out to you know 60 you know above 6,000 but uh, you know I've only been to the dyno once I've drag raced the car once I'm, I'm not really into that I just want a fun drivable street car and I just you know I want to that guy in the new Corvette when I kick his ass I just like looking at his at his face when he's looking over at me man that piece of crap old Dotson just kicked my ass but uh, but anyway but I'm not really into street racing either but uh, mainly daily drive the car and whatnot so this uh, this GT35R is a it's oil lubricated 
liquid cooled dual ball bearing uh, so I can't wait to get it on I got a Turbonetics uh, external wastegate that I'm setting up for it uh, and I think that's that's it. I just I gotta run my my oil lines, gotta run some water lines. I got a the T3 to T3 uh, adapter flange with the uh, 38 millimeter wastegate port on the side. I'm um, getting all the stuff to hook that up. So I'm hoping uh, in a week or so that it'll be done. Our uh, Z car meeting is coming up, so I'm gonna try to get it done to to drive it to that. But anyway, now I'm rambling. And that's it. Yeah.